Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and I have to stop myself say welcome back to Wordle in a minute there. That's the other videos. Um, this one is about Sudoku and uh, in fact it's about palindromes and I think if Simon has done the puzzle I think he's done today he's given us a bit of palindrome practice already and when I say us I mean you. He hasn't given it to me but um, nonetheless I hope that what's been learnt will be proved useful in today's puzzle. Um, we'll have a look at that in a minute. Don't forget the equal sum lines hunt, which is our patron reward for the month. That is available on Patreon and uh, it's proved very popular. So we've had lots of lots of entries, very well done to anyone who's got through it. Even, even more well done to anyone who's got through the Quinlux Sudoku hunt, the build your own Sudoku, a bit like today's, where we're building our own palindromes. But um, yeah, that is a really special piece of work. Do have a go if you have the time. It's brilliant fun. Um, and we've certainly got something interesting lined up for next month as well. So it's always worth considering joining our Patreon. If you haven't already, thank you if you have. Um, now, also check out the links to Discord and all our apps, which should now pretty much be all updated. So 100 puzzles on each. And uh, if you've bought them, don't forget to refresh them so you are sure of getting the full 100. And uh, good luck with those. They're, every time anybody writes to us about the apps, it's nothing but praise. I'm delighted to say so. Thank you for that. And uh, just feel free to engage with the channel in any way you want at the moment. Now, let's have a look at this. The first link under the video is to Palindrome Builder by Quarter Through, who's also known as Jeremy Butler, who's been sending us puzzles for well over two years and uh, has featured many times on the channel. Always something interesting going on in Jeremy's mind um, and we'll see we'll see how that pans out today. What we're getting is palindromes that we have to make. So normal Sudoku rules apply. The given filled circles indicate the start of a palindrome line with the same order of digits from either end. That's what a palindrome is. The number beside the circle indicates the sum of all the digits on the palindrome line. Um, the arrows indicate the starting direction of the line. Empty circles are the ends of lines. The line paths and lengths must be discovered by the solver. So this 22 could come down here. Well, maybe it couldn't. Okay, what it could do is go here, cross through here. That could be one, two, three, five. Then it could go five, three, two, one, and make 22 ending in that dot, I reckon. That seems feasible. Um, the line paths and lengths must, must be discovered by the solver. All we know is the empty circles are the ends of the lines, but we have to discover the paths and the lengths. Lines can cross each other, but cannot share cells. They can clearly go diagonally because we've got that in the arrows. Oh, no digit repeats on a palindrome more than once. That's an interesting rule. Okay, but I didn't do that. So that, that 22 one I sketched out. Let me just type it in just to see if it works. One, two, three, five, then five. Oh no, I couldn't put three where I did. But I could put three there, two, one. That would be one possible 22 palindrome. Uh, I doubt that it's the right one. Um, so that's what we've got. It's a fascinating rule set. I can't really tell with this whether so much information has been given that it should be quite doable or n barely any information at all. Um, the fact that we have to build our own palindromes is a bit frightening, as is the fact that quarter through's email said that he thinks it's pretty tough. Um, so we'll see. Do give it a try on the first link under the video. I'm going to start now. Let's get cracking. So let's look at the short numbers. Right, this one can't be 2-2 two, two because it has to end in one of the empty circles. So this must be at least three cells long. We're given two of the cells. We can't have more than three cells because it clearly can't go one, 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 one without a repeat that breaks Sudoku rules. So it's got to end in this circle, which has to be the same as this circle. It clearly can't be those two because they're in the same row. 
So those have to be ones, and that's a two, and that is that. We've done one of the palindromes. Now I am going to colour them to try and help with this not crossing each other rule. I'm going to try and use the boring colours first. Right, the five. Now again, ah, yes, here's a thing. It's an odd number, so its palindrome line must be an odd length. Now, the reason I can say that is because the digits that repeat, just look at this four that we've done, the digits that repeat must always be an even number in total because they're obviously 2x. So here, it's just a 1, it's repeated, that's 2. So to make an even number, if there's a middle digit, if there's no middle digit, you've obviously got an even clue. If there is a middle digit, the middle digit must be even. So on the odd-numbered clues... There must be a middle digit and it must be odd. So the length of this palindrome is three cells. Can't be five because we can't get one, 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 one going. So it's three cells, so it's got to end there. I'm going to make that light grey as well. Now the middle digit is odd, so it's one or three. The end digit is one or two. So it either goes one, three, one or two, one, two. And I don't see a way of telling which. So, what's the next one? 12. Now, that could clearly end in this circuit. Probably does. Looks like it's four cells. Although it could be longer. No, it can't. Look, it can't be those four cells. Because these two are in the same box. Oh, well, that's interesting. Yes, it's it's first, wherever this goes, I mean, even if it could bump into the other... Actually, let's just quickly colour all of the palindromes we have left so they're different colours, which will help with this business about not... not um, they can cross each other, but no shared cells. That's the, that's the dealio there. So yellow there, blue there. Right. So this green, it's going to have to be three cells in box one. And only two of those at a maximum can repeat because they'll be outside the box. So it's got to... No, it doesn't have to finish there. It could, could come down here. Then it would be a one, two, three. And, well, well the one would be there. 2, 3 pair here. That would be the same. We'd have a 1 here and a 2 or 3 there. But, oh, that is possible. But I think it's going to be 5 or 6 cells finishing here. If it's 6 cells, it's always 1, 2, 3. But if it's 5, you have probably a 1 and something. An even middle digit here, which would be two, four, or six. Uh, so the least the middle digit could be is a two. And then the end digits would have to add up to five. They would have to be one, four. So there's always a one in this pair, and it's always in that cell. Um, now, whether this line is five or six, after this cell, it has to get out of the box. Oh, and it has to get a 1 into the penultimate cell of the palindrome because of that 1 that we've just placed there. Oh, look! One of these is a 1. Whether this is 212 or 131, one of those is a 1. They all see these cells. So these can't be 1s. These can't be 1s by Sudoku. Ah! So if there is a 1 as the penultimate cell for here, it's in this cell. And if there's a 1 as the penultimate cell for here, it's in this cell. Oh, so one of, the, one of these two is a 1. I mean, that's a weird pencil mark that I'm not going to use. But what it does tell me is that these don't have 1s on both ends, because that would rule out both of the ways. Oh, that's weird, of fitting a 1 into the penultimate cell before that or that. 
So anyway, that'll do. I mean, that's clever. Those are twos. That's a one, which rather proves those aren't. And it hasn't resolved which of these is which. Ah, oh, but we now know this is six long, because to get through here to pick up the one, that's the minimum length, is six. So it is a two, one, three start. They're all green. This is a repeat of that one, because it has to come here, whether it's going down or up next. Then you get the one, and then you get the final cell, which would have to be a three if it was here. Oh, no, that's no good. No, no, no. No, sorry, this two is looking at that cell. Three, three, we get a two here. Now it can't end in this cell. I was sure it was going to, and I was totally wrong. That's normal. So we get a 1 here and a 2 there. We remove that pencil mark and we've done the 12 in green. Now look at this orange. Where's that going to go? Oh, and neither, this can't be 1, 2 or 3 and nor can that. So um, this is at least 8. Oh, no, we can't have 4, 4. That would disobey the rule about digits repeating on a palindrome more than once. So it's four and five, that's already nine. Now, how could this be five cells? And there's no way, it's got to end. In, this time we are definitely going to end in this dot. It can't get anywhere else. It can't get, I mean, it would take a lot of, and in fact, it will get trapped. Even if it went up, sorry, up to the top here, that's six cells, and I think that is too many. These would have to be, well, they'd have to be four, five, six to not include any repeats. That's too many. So it must finish here in four cells. So it doesn't come here because that would be a repeated digit on the palette. So that is the full length of orange. It adds up to 22. This pair adds up to 11 and gets mirrored. And it doesn't have a two or a three in. So that is either a four, seven or five, six pair. Um, and that's orange. Right. Now, Sudoku. Sudoku is good. Let's do a 2, a 2. We can place a 2 here. Then we're going to get a 2 in one of those cells. And one of those. And one of those. Um... Now, this 22, which is the other, yeah, go, continuing the theme of low numbers. We've got a lot higher than we started, but still. Now, I can that go down here? I don't think it can, because the first four digits would have to repeat. Yeah, you see, this is a problem. If this tried to get down, well, anywhere in the bottom half of the cell, you would take one, two, three, a fourth cell somewhere here and a fifth cell somewhere here. The four cells would have to repeat. This couldn't be, you couldn't then have a seven digit palindrome because the third one would be in one of these cells and they're all in the same box. So I don't, so it would have to be eight cells, which would be like the one, two, three, five I depicted originally. But that would be the five. That, yeah, no, these are five cells to get out of the box. It's just, it can't be done. You can't do it in, it can't be a nine cell palindrome. It's just too much. We're not going down there. So we are going to here, directly to here. Because we can't faff around in this box. Because if we took any more cells than the direct route there, this cell would repeat in the penultimate cell of the palindrome just before it gets here, and that's in the same box. So that is... Oh, I didn't use a colour for this. Let's be dark grey. Yeah, that's different enough from a light grey. Okay, so that is another palindrome. Done. Now, this must be even. It's the middle digit on, on an even number. Four, six, or eight there. If it's a four... Those add up to 18. If it's a 6, they add up to 16. If it's an 8, they add up to 14. 
And I don't know what that's telling me. Right, where's, where's purple going to get its dot? Oh, look, this is a complete blockage in the whole grid. All the dots now, all the finishing dots are to the bottom right of that. The only way for purple, which is to the top... Yes, purple and red are both to the top left of this line. Red can come through here. Purple is going to have to come through here. Wow, I mean, this is literally an, a prison break. Um, not literally. <laughs> so, how many cells is purple going to be? Yes, because... Okay, where's one? Look, one can't be in those cells. So one is in one of those two and one of those two. Okay, so purple could pick up a one. Oh, but it's got to repeat these things before it gets to the finish. Now, the finish is probably there, but let's just check. Well, that is possible. It looks a bit like the green, doesn't it? So certainly let's not rule that out. Now, what are the numbers going to have to be? This can be two and this can be one. But how are you going to pick up a one and a two before the finish? Right, where are one possibilities? That's what I was going to look at a moment ago. Ones are all down here. Well, I'll put them in there for now and there. But I don't think they can be on these circles because I don't think any of the filled circles can be ones and the palindrome rule would be broken. Actually, that two has already had its finish. And I don't think any of these can be two either. So we can't have a two on the circle either. Right, fair enough. Now, what was I doing? Oh, I was trying to work out if... Yes, how could this pick up a two before the finish? Because that would be the second digit. Um, it could come through here. It could just get down to that two and finish there. But this is a long, long old palindrome. These would have to be a minimum of two, three, four, five. Let's say you could... Well, none of these could be a three. So, I suppose two, four, five there, a three there. So if you had two, four, five here, that's 11, 22. The three there is 25, but the four at the end is blowing this out of the water. It's at least 33. There is no way to pick up a two at the end of this purple palindrome before the finish. It just gets too long. So that's not a two. So by Sudoku, we can place the two. Now, I bet we can do the same with a one. I'm not 100% sure of this. Although the one, if it was here, the one would have to... In fact, we do come through here now. Otherwise, we go the long way round. And, I mean, you'd be repeating... I don't know, maybe one, two, three, four. Then that could be the middle cell, but you'd be repeating four different digits. None of which could be a two. So there'd be one, three, four, five at a minimum is 12. And then you could have a six there and then one, three, four, five again. No, but none of these can be a one. Not even that. You just can't get there. No, that's nonsense. It doesn't go round that way. It goes through here. Now, it might pick up one or both of those cells on the way. Let, let's figure that out. Or, no, let's figure out if this can be a one. Oh, let's bear in mind that it can pick up one or two of those. But at the end, the antipenultimate digit is going to be a one. Then there's penultimate and ultimate to go before we get to the finish, which is going to be one of these. Now, neither of these can be one, two or three. So they're at least four or five. If that's a one, where is it going to pick up a one two cells before a finish? Well, it's going to have to come down at least this many cells. Let's say there, there, there. Now, this is just much too long again, surely. Well, OK, let's not go in that box. Let's go in this box. So we've only got three cells in that box. Um, I just think it's too many, but I'm not 100% sure. 
those would have to be three, four, five at a minimum. They can't be one or two. In fact, this is no good because this would have to repeat. You'd have to have an even longer distance to avoid one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, the sixth digit would still be in box six. So they'd have to be 12 digits in total on the line. I think this is ridiculous to try and pick up a one. I don't think that can be a one. So four, five, one. Yeah, none of these can be twos. They're, they're, it's just far too high. You'd, you'd be using five different digits that can't be twos and repeating them all. And you would absolutely bust through this 30 number. So that's not a one. So that's a one. I mean, I think this is going to be a straight hit onto this now. These have to be... Ah, oh, none of them can be one, two, or three. Yeah, so there we go. It's four, five, six, triple, repeating there. Remember the rule that no digit repeats on a palindrome more than once. That's what it must be. It is a four, five, six, triple all the way along. So, what does that do for this? Oh, we've nearly got some quads and things. If this was five, six pair, that would have to be a four, which would be mirrored there. And this would be a five, six pair. So would this. Actually, that works. What about four, seven? It stops that being a four this time, but I don't think it does much else. Bother. Okay, let's look at other palindromoi. Um, yeah, this is 26. Now, that's going to take a third cell in box 7. None of those cells can be 1 or 2. So they're at least 3, 4, 5, and that's already 24. So if there was a middle digit to come before the other 3, 4, 5, which is possible, it would be a 2, which would have to be in one of these two cells. So you could go there, then your third cell is in one of those two. If it's seven cells long, your fourth cell is a two here, then you get three, four, five before you reach one of these. Or it's three, four, six here, which is 13. Or here. And then that's exactly mirrored three, four, six which actually could get you there. I don't know quite how that works, but that means three and four are in this group of cells. Definite. Doesn't it? It does. It does. That means three is on this pair, in this pair. Four, actually that's quite interesting. Four must appear in this two by two region and therefore can't be in both these cells which are repeats. So they're not fours, and that means these at the ends aren't sevens. Oh, and that's a three, just Sudoku, once we've got a three in one of those cells. So one of those two is a three as well. That's not a two anymore, since we've got the two up here. And those aren't ones. Oh, we've placed one in this box. Ah, and here, and here. And we've finished one suddenly, unexpectedly. Does that do anything? It doesn't look like it does anything at all. We've got an X-wing on twos left. Don't know as much about threes. I've only got three placed. Now, what about, surely these orange and purples are able to be resolved in some way. Sorry for anybody colourblind. I mean, it's been very hard to try and marshal the colours so nothing close to each other because um, I didn't know which way the pandromes were going to go, frankly. Anyway, four, five, 
So if a five six pair would put fours in these, I worked out. Ah, if that's a five six pair with a four there, that's an eight. And then these have to be sevens. Uh, looks like that works, but it's quite constraining. If this is a seven four pair, ah, okay, if that's a five six pair, that's a four. Otherwise, it's a seven four pair. And in either case, this is not a four. So these aren't nines. Now there must be an eight in one of those two cells. Now it doesn't do anything. No, I don't know what that achieves or doesn't achieve. So is it something to do with these being the same? Oh, that's quite interesting. If they're fives or fours, that's going to put a five or four here. And if they're sixes, unfortunately, we get a possibility of six being there. These, they rule out all of those, but there's still those three left, including the six possibility. These two put whatever it is down here somewhere. Oh, that's not quite as helpful as I was hoping. Right, a five, six pair there, which makes these both fours. It sort of makes all of these fives and sixes and those. But in a way, I think they can work, which is irritating. Ah, if this is a 7-4 pair, so is this, then that can't be a 7. That's an 8, and this becomes a 6. Now, the alternative is that this is a 5-6 pair, and in either case, this is not 6. So that is 4 or 5. don't know what this means. Maybe 7-4 is the more constrained thing. If that's 7-4, 5, 8, then we get a 6 here. 7-4, 5, 6 there. I don't know. I don't even know which one of these I favour, whether I favour the 5-6 pair or the 7-4 pair. I think the 7-4 pair is a bit more constrained. But does that make it less likely or more helpful? <laughs> I don't know. Um, or am I missing some Sudoku? Crikey, I don't quite know. We've still got a 9 to put in one of those cells that doesn't seem useful. 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, if that's, if this is 7, 4, that is a 4. Ah, that's interesting. I've just spotted if that's a 7 and that's a 4, which is how the 7-4 pair works. You get 5 there and 6 here, and that puts 6 here. Now, where does that... That puts 6 in one of these two cells. It does, because this is a 4-7 pair. So if that's a 7-4 pair, you get a 6 here, and suddenly 6 in this box is in one of those two cells. Yeah, 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 yeah. And six is here because that can't be a seven anymore. And where's six in the top row? There's nowhere for it to be. It's it's here, so... Oh, my goodness, that is crazy times. Is that right? That is right. If this is a seven-four pair, that becomes where six is in box two, and therefore here on the palindrome. Then... in Box four, six has to be in one of those. 
and it can't be here. It also can't be here because it's here and these can't have repeats. And because it's there, it can't be here. And because it's there, it can't be here. That's bonkers. That's so hard. If that's actually on the solution path, I don't know. It probably isn't, but I have found it and I am using it. And those are not sevens. And these are not fours. And now we're away. We've got a five, six pair looking at that cell. And obviously that one's a four. Now these can't have repeats. So they're not fours. They're a five, six pair. So let's color these fives and sixes because they're getting kind of interesting now, I think. I mean, they're all over the place as... Oh no, first of all, five, six makes this an eight. So these are sevens. That adds up fine. So we've got an eight, nine pair to go in the row. We've got a seven, nine pair to go in this row. In fact, that's a nine because we've got seven in the box. So we get seven here. Ooh, we're getting stuff done suddenly. That feels like a bit of a breakthrough. So we've got four, eight, nine to place here. That's a five, six pair. Two, four, one, three, eight or nine here. One, nine, two, seven, eight. What about here? Uh, five and six in one, in some sort of diagonal. I'm certain because of that pair and that pair. So four and three in the other diagonal. I don't know how to do that. Eight is now in one of those two cells in this box. Haven't looked at the palindrome lines in a while, and I'm not bothered about that. Let's just keep going with this. Um, right, I'm going to color these five sixes a bit. So let's make some of them black flash and some of them light gray flash. Uh, and that's that's a great start. Those two are the same. Oh, so there we go. Black flash for those. Light grey flash for those. This one, black flash. That one, grey flash. Now, what is that telling us, if anything? Um, I don't know. Bother. Oh, that was going to yield something right. This can't be five, six, three, two, one, four, seven, eight, or nine. So this palindrome is going to end in an eight, nine, and then a ooh. If that wasn't a four, these add up to at least 15. So the back end of the palindrome is also 15, that's 30. It's got to be an odd number. This has to be at least a five. In fact, no, not a five or a six, because we've got a pair of black and gray flashes up there. So, ooh, if that's not a four, we might be in trouble. Eight, seven. Oh, and they have to be different. This has to be at least five cells long, because it's an odd number. So it can't be a four cell palindrome. I mean, it couldn't reach here, actually. So it's clearly a five cell palindrome. These must all be different. Oh, if they are 7, 8, and 9, if that's not a 4, then that has to be a 7, that's an 8, 9, and then we get an 8, 9 pair going in down here, which couldn't be there because of that, so it would involve that cell. That is possible. But I was hoping to prove that was a 4, but I don't think I've quite managed that. If that is a 4, they could be 8, 4, 7 at a minimum, 15... 19 with another 12 to come is 31. Oh, you could maybe have a three middle digit and another seven. Oh, but you can never get to this cell. That's too far away. So one of red finishes here and one of blue finishes here. And that's where yellow finishes. Okay. Yellow is also an odd number. Doesn't go through the one because it doesn't have a one near the start. Um, and it's all different digits, and they're all quite big. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. No, because it would have to repeat. I reckon it has to go there next. Oh, no, it could be one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I don't know. Don't know with that one. Right, maybe Sudoku. 
do some Sudoku while doing a Sudoku. Okay. Ah, oh, look, these are flashed, and I didn't flash the other ends of the line right. Now, that becomes the grey 5 or 6. I'm going to make it purple so I know what I'm talking about. That becomes the black 5 or 6. Um, so none of those are 5 or 6. 5 and 6 must both appear here. Could that be? Yes, it could. Bother. It would have to be grey, though. Um, come on, where else? The black flash ones, one of them there, one of them somewhere here, and one of them there. The grey flash ones, one of them there, slightly different. Um, again, one of them there, I don't think they can be... Oh no, the blue one of these could also be a 5 or a 6. I hadn't thought of that. It's true. 3 is in one of those two cells. Ah, and 3... No, hang on, I don't know that because I said this could be a 3. So that's tripe. Oh, I could nearly rule a 3 out. There. Okay, let's think about this blue. I haven't thought about that for a while. Now, it's got a 3 and it's got a 4 somewhere here and either... Ah, the 5 or 6 it's got is the grey flash 5 or 6 because it can't have the black flash one. Oh, um... And the grey flash 5 or 6 can't repeat in these cells because of the at. We can't go round here. I'm just wondering if the grey 5 or 6 can be in these cells. As the... Would it have to be the penultimate one? No. Ah, it... Oh, it all depends, I think, on whether there is a 2 in this. Is this 3, 4, 6? Or th oh, this can't be 3, 5, 6. It never could. It's either 3, 4, 5 or 3, 4, 6. And it could use that cell rather than that one. Oh, oh, so four, the four has to appear in this column because of the purple fours we've got marked. Um, but can that be directly before the three is in one of those two cells? In fact, these cells are the blue and red ends. No, I don't know that the 3 is in one of those two cells. It could be the 5 or 6. The 3 could be in the one before, which could be here. Ah, so confusing. That's 3 or 4, because it sees a 5, 6 pair. In fact, that is a 3, 4 pair in the box. I don't think that's doing anything for me. Oh, look, where does this cell appear in the middle box? It's got to be there. Right, and that's the end of that palindrome. So they are grey flash five or sixes. Is that helpful? Ah, yes, it is. Because the grey flash five or six... Is this right? It has to now be... Oh, it could be in this circle, but... Okay, interesting. This palindrome gets its five or six in this column. I don't think it can get it here because it just can't get through to there. So it's... Oh, and it can't get it here because of that. So this is the grey flash five or six. Good grief. Okay, good. And then it's therefore on the end of this blue palindrome. It is blue, in fact, this. Yes, this is five or six. It's not three. So we've placed the three. Oh, this is a complicated puzzle. Right, now the three that comes just before this, well, it's in one of those two positions. Then there's a four in one of these two. Then you jump across, but either to a two first and then a four. Then you've got to bridge across with a three, which now has to be here. Oh, we. 
and then you get five or six so that's blue I don't know which of these to mark blue but red has to get through so red has to come through here and then blue has to cross over it there um, I still don't know whether there is whether it's seven cells with a two here or six cells with a four here bother but oh this can be a four I was gonna say this can't be but it can no it can't because the four in this column is blue because there's a blue four here so that is not the four and that's not a four now right and didn't I work out this has to be a five cell well it is I've actually done it as a five cell palindrome now but it has to be an eight nine repeating and a seven in the middle 17 34 41 that's the only way to do it yes okay well that feels like a breakthrough look I can put a seven here this is now a four seven pair weirdly um, still don't know about the identity of fives and sixes this is an eight nine pair that's now red fully okay um, That is the grey flash five or six. I do want to keep marking those. In fact, I might have got all of them. Let's just have a look. Yes, I've got all the grey flashes. Can I do the black flashes? One there. Oh, look, one in one of these cells now. Maybe that's been true for a while. Oh, no. One must be in one of these two cells, so that can't be. So that's the black flash, five or six. I'm going to make it purple. It's a bit random, but I just want to keep following these colors. So one there, one there, and that's black, that's black. Oh, one here. I don't know where they go. Bother. Okay, never mind. And I don't know whether they're five or six, but we'll get there. Now, this must be eight or nine. I hope I don't have to color these as well. That's going to have to be the cell. Ooh, so these add up to at least 13. 26, another 11 or 7, 9 or 11 to go on the line in the middle. Okay, um, there must be Sudoku that I have been neglecting while I have put in a few digits here. 3 is in one of those cells. Sevens in one of those two. Threes in one of those two. Um, feels odd to see a white cell in this puzzle anywhere. That's a naked four. That's the last one in its box. Ooh, that's not a four. Now there's a four in one of those two, and that's not a four. That's a three. So this isn't a three. This is, and that fixes seven. This is eight or nine. We're getting a few eight or nines. In fact, down this column, yeah, we knew this was going to be two and four at the end. The four is definitely blue. The two, we don't know. The four is blue here. That doesn't help as far as I can see. Yes, it does. The four can't be here because it would have to go to a four here and then two would be in the wrong place to connect up to three. So the four is here and is blue. And the four is here and is blue. And that's a seven. And I still don't know whether this is five or six and using this two. I don't know whether this two is blue or not. Ah, so weird, this puzzle. Right, that gives me two here, though. Four, four. We get a four in one of those two positions. And one of those two. That's a little X-wing that we'll resolve. This is four or nine. This is four, eight or nine. I really want to take the flashes out of the fives and sixes. In fact, I could take all the colouring out apart from yellow, but I, I don't dare do that either. Um, right, let's just focus a bit. Come on. Two, four, two, one, four, four, three, three. Three's in one of those cells. That's another X-wing with those. Seven is in one of those. Come on, something, just show yourself. 
eight or nine is the same as though these are all the same eight or nines oh uh, I want to keep going with that and I can't have I something might have revealed itself and I've just missed it uh, this is Oh, that can't be eight or nine because it sees a pair. So that's five, six. And that is the dreaded black flash. Um, I will make it a black and purple flash again. This is eight or nine. Oh, look, I've got a four there. That's what's shown itself. So I get a four here. Now. Two, four, seven. One of these is five, six, and one is eight, nine, and I can't tell which. This is a seven. Oh, that's been there for a while, so that's a seven, and that's not. Now, what about this column? We've got three and eight to place. Can anybody see a reason? Okay, let's look at this now. This is getting harder to deal with. So we've got the five or six at the ends. We've got an eight or nine there. Now, if that's 13, this is an odd length because it's odd. So it's 37. Can it be seven long? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, avoiding the twos and ones. That is just possible. That would put seven in the middle. The others would add up to 24. And they can't. No, sorry, the others... Yeah, there'd be 12 on each end. No, what am I talking about? 7 in the middle, take it away from 37 is 30. Divide that by 2 is 15, and that's too many, 16. So this is not 7 cells long, it's 5 cells long. It must go through here. That's 8 or 9, accordingly. Then it either goes through 7 or 3 there. If it goes through 7, this is a 6-9 pair. If it goes through 3... They add up to 17, which they can't do. It goes through seven. It's a six, nine pair. And finally, we have we have our flashes revealed. The gray flash, oh, there's no point trying to highlight that in one go. The gray flash is a six, Ooh, which rather surprised me down here, but that's good. Um, yeah, the gray flash is a six. The black flash is therefore a five. And actually now I can remove all of those flashes, can't I? Let's remove the gray flashes too, um, because we don't need them anymore. Oh, hit the wrong button, sorry. Or rather I missed the button, which is embarrassing. And there, right, remove the grey. Okay, so, and in fact, that's left a few purples that shouldn't be purple anymore. There we go, so only the purple. Right, that's all of them done. And in fact, this is now done because that has become a six. We don't need the two in blue. And we're going to finish off now. Eights and nines, eights and nines, yes. Eights and nines, this is epic. Well, I mean, it's been an epic solve in the sense of it's taken me an awful long time. I don't mean necessarily a uh, Homeric epic. Um, four and five can go in there. This must be an eight. We get a nine there. Sorry if you have been shouting at the screen throughout because I've been missing something obvious. It doesn't oddly feel to me as though I have, but... 45 minute solve is not a quick one. That's a very interesting puzzle and really quite tough. Thanks, Jeremy, for sending it. And I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Hope to see you soon again on the channel. Bye for now.